Well, I'm Emma Davenport, a PhD candidate in English here at Duke, and today I'm going to be providing an overview of my project called Podcast Pedagogy. In recent years, podcasts have become a prime vehicle for the creation, distribution, and consumption of knowledge and entertainment. Competency in both the design and analysis of podcasts as a modern media tool constitutes an important element of digital literacy, useful to undergraduates as a skill transferable among a variety of disciplines and essential to active engagement in the contemporary media environment. Podcast projects thus present a rich opportunity for digital pedagogical innovation, but the bar to entry for both instructors and students can be daunting. Podcast projects could be made accessible to faculty and students with a diversity of knowledge and experience in digital media if they had access to a module that provided faculty with activity and assignment materials, directions for students, rubrics and other assessment documents, and sample student podcasts. It has been the aim of this project to develop those materials. I am piloting this project in an advanced English course being taught this term by Professor Kathy Somiades. The course is thematically organized around the topic of self-help as a genre of literature and as a cultural phenomenon. Podcasts are a particularly apt learning tool for a course on self-help narratives because self-improvement advice has become one of the most ubiquitous podcast genres. Podcasting thus provides an opportunity for a thematically appropriate authentic assessment of learning for this course in particular. Thus, this project both provides the students in this particular course with an engaging alternative to more conventional end of semester assessments and creates a robust, flexible, and iterable set of instructional materials that can be adapted for use by faculty teaching a wide variety of subjects who wish to implement a podcast project into their courses. A central concern of this project, especially but not exclusively in light of COVID-19, is accessibility. I've developed this project to employ readily available free software to ensure that students have equitable access to the benefits of the module, regardless of their level of access to university spaces and resources. All project components are offered for free download under a Creative Commons license at the project website, which is available at the link indicated on this slide uh, and now pasted in the chat. When you go to this website, you'll find an introduction to the project and to the course associated with it. You'll then see an assignment sheet for a podcast project that includes individual and group components. There's an introductory activity that introduces students to the conventions of podcasts. I also provide a packet that details the elements of the project and procedures for completing each step, planning, outlining, recording, editing, uh, preparation of show notes and citations, reflection, and submission for web posting. There's a sample release form whereby students permit an instructor to post their work to a public facing website. Rubrics for both the individual and group components are provided, as well as a self and peer evaluation form for students to complete. Sample student podcasts are available for listening, and I've included a contributors page to acknowledge the students, faculty, consultants, and others whose efforts have been essential to the completion of this project. I'm also happy to discuss any part of the website in more detail in the Q&A. Thank you to all the contributors to this project. 